What's up guys, it's Coach Tyler here with CrossFit Acadiana and another episode of Mindset Monday. So today's topic is fear. What makes you scared? For most of us, it could be spiders, it could be sharks, it could be the dark, it could be failure like we talked about last week, it could be any number of different things. You might not even, you might just be scared to talk to the opposite, opposite sex. Everybody go home. Thank you for coming, ladies. Who knows? The dreaded gym. You think I'm crazy? I'm not crazy. I just believe in you. It's always a scary place. I get it. I know each and every one of you because I was you. How do we combat fear? One of my favorite topics, which is gratitude. If I am grateful for the opportunity to try something, my perspective about fear will change. It's, you know, when they say it's, uh, it's almost impossible to sneeze and keep your eyes open. <coughs> Right? What's interesting about when we sneeze, I learned from a friend of mine, Mr. Mark Dunwa, uh, is that typically when we sneeze, it's, uh, it's our body and our mind's connection. Uh, well, when we reject something, we might reject a notion. I'm sorry, I'm allergic to bullshit. Right? Um, out of fear, out of whatever that reason might be. All that to say that I don't know that you can actually feel grateful and feel fear at the same time. How do I know this? Anytime I've been scared since my kids have been born, uh, I'll, be, I'll be real with you. So in, a few years ago, my daughter was involved in an accident where her fingers were cut off and uh, it, it was very tragic and it was a very difficult time for us as a family. The quicker that I stopped worrying about her getting better and living a life that would be like everyone else or all the stories that she would be told, all the stories that she would tell herself and all the kids that we'd be mean, the, the, the quicker I started being thankful for the opportunity to coach her through that, to be grateful for the obstacles that would come to her Fear for myself, for my family, and for my daughter started to subside. Oftentimes we get paralysis by analysis, which is fear, right? We think through things, we think, and we never get to a point that we feel okay with trying something. And so I'll be honest with you, I would rather go into any situation with world-class execution and an okay plan rather than a really world-class plan and half-baked execution. So my point today, guys, is if you're wanting to get what you want and you want a body and you want to lose weight and you want to feel better and you want to get off diabetic, you know, if you're type two and you're trying to mitigate the amount of insulin that you're trying to take or if you're on hypertension meds and blood pressure meds and you just feel that you cannot do something, that's just a lie that you're telling yourself. The reality is that you still have the ability to do what you want. I'll tell you this, we have a lady in Bro Bridge who has had a complete knee replacement and it baffles me every time I see her go out for a run because on the days where I just don't feel like running, she's my one ounce of inspiration that allows me to suck it up a little bit put my junk aside and get out there and go run. So whatever it is for you that allows you to get over it yourself, I would encourage you to comment below. Tell us what it is that helps you overcome your fears and start trying all over again. This has been another episode of Mindset Monday with Coach Tyler. Have a great week.